Hey guys, Judge Joe here for season two of Cooking with Daniel. Hi everyone and welcome to season two, episode three of Cooking with Daniel. And today I'm going to be cooking some awesome mahi mahi for Judge Joe with a side of cilantro lime green chili rice. And if you haven't seen episodes one and two, be sure to click in the top right corner of your screen now, and I'll have a card linked there that you can watch those at. So, <clears throat> to start off, the first step of the day is to get our pan ready to cook the rice. So we're gonna be cooking it a little differently today. We're gonna be using a cast iron skillet right here. A little bit of olive oil in the pan, not much, just a, a little bit, just like that. And then, a really cool step is uh, making sure that the rice has been washed. We took, we went ahead and took care of that with a strainer here. Uh, so our rice itself has been uh, washed and rinsed very nicely. And once this pan heats up, we're going to be putting in the rice and adding in some uh, green chilies and bell peppers that are here that have already been diced for us. So uh, I am really excited about cooking this today. It's going to be a very fun thing to uh, serve to Judge Joe today and I think it's going to be great. Alright, so the next step is going to be preparing our fish with our seasonings. So we have here some uh, salt and pepper, paprika and cumin. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and take is our ground cumin and just sprinkle a light layer, not going too heavy with this, on our two nice mahi mahi fillets. And then next I'm going to be grabbing our salt grinder putting some sea salt on there just a little bit once again because we don't want to go overboard with this. And then take our pepper grinder, our black pepper on there just like that. And then lastly taking our paprika and sprinkling a little bit on there as well. And once we take care of this, we can go ahead and start the rice. All right, so our next step is putting in the rice that we previously rinsed off and going ahead and getting it nice and spread out. And at this time, we are also going to be putting in a, our diced green chilies and bell peppers. And just like this, we're gonna give it a really good stir. We're gonna make sure to watch it pretty uh, consistently as we do not want the rice to get burnt at all in this process. So we're gonna be going ahead and watching this rice, giving it a really good stir, turning down our heat to medium right now, and make sure and just watch it and make sure it doesn't burn. And once it gets to a nice golden color, then we will be adding in our water. And once the water starts boiling, uh, we'll be sure to uh, put a lid on it. All right, so for the next part, we're going to start our fish cooking. So we're just going to put a light layer of olive oil in the pan just like this because we have two fillets, just a touch more there. Alrighty, and we're going to go ahead and set our uh, burner to four and just let that uh, get hot. And once it gets pretty hot, we will add in the fish fillets, the mahi mahi fillets. And we're going to continue to stir and watch our rice once again, you know, we just want it to be that golden brown consistency all across. Right now, it's still looking a little uh, undercooked and not quite to that golden color that we want yet. So once we get to there, we'll add in our water and let it continue to finish cooking. Alrighty, so the next part, uh, now that our rice is looking pretty golden brown, we're going to be adding in our water and turning down the heat just a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to four there. So then we're going to add in our water, just like this. And you're gonna hear a really good sizzle. We're gonna add about a cup of water in there and you want it to get up to boiling. Leave the lid on there. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and cut our lime. So we're going to go ahead and take our veggie knife, come over here, grab a cutting board. And 
Go ahead and just cut our lime straight in half, just like this. And that smells amazing. The next step is to put some of this lime juice in the pan with the rice and the water. So we're just going to and go ahead and lift the uh, lid up and go ahead and splash around our lime just like that. All right, so next we have some carrots and bell peppers that I cut earlier. And so we're going to go ahead and cut a little bit of butter out and stick it in the pan just like that and let it melt. And once it is melted, we'll put in our carrots and bell peppers. And that way we can saute them very nicely. And I also am going to be adding in a little bit of green chili to that as well. Just to add a little bit of flair and kick to those veggies. So we'll get that on that burner. And our next part is going to be adding some garlic into the pan for the mangi mangi. And as soon as we do that, we'll put in the mangi mangi fillets themselves and go ahead and get them ready to go. All right, so next is putting the mahi mahi fillets into the pan. And you're gonna hear that nice sizzle once you set them in. Very good. Set them adjacent to each other and let them cook. Um, it's going to take about uh, 12 minutes or so um, to uh, have it totally done probably. Somewhere between that 12 and 15 minute mark uh, for the two fillets and make sure that they get to a nice temperature above 127 degrees Fahrenheit. And once they are done, we will be able to plate them with the uh, cilantro lime green chili rice and the sauteed vegetables as well. All right, so now uh, we had to move our veggies to a little larger pan. Um, so those are still sauteing, cooking really nicely. I put some salt and pepper on them. And right now it's been uh, about five or six minutes, and so I'm going to go ahead and give our Mahi Mahi fillets a flip, just like that. And look at that beautiful golden brown crusting on the outside. Looks perfectly cooked on one side. So now to do the same to the other. And once those get finished, like I said, we'll be ready to start plating with our rice and our fillets and the sautéed veggies. Okay, so now that the rice is getting pretty close to complete, I'm just going to give it a nice taste. As you see, all that moisture from the water is giving it a really nice steam as uh, the water has mostly evaporated or been absorbed by the grains of rice. So we're just going to give it a nice taste, make sure that the lime is in there uh, before we mix in our cilantro with it. Pretty good. I'm going to add just one touch more of the lime juice, and then from there we will go ahead with our cilantro, add our cilantro in, and let the rice cool for a few minutes. Alrighty, so our next step to complete the rice is we're going to turn off our burner right there and we're going to go ahead and add in a tablespoon of cilantro, just nice and uh, get it around the pan like that. I'm not going to go with the full tablespoon, that looks like it is plenty right there. And we're just going to leave that to rest for a few minutes on a little cooler warmer, just like that. And after a few minutes it should be ready and the mahi mahi will be finishing up and the sauteed vegetables are almost done. Alright, so our last step in preparation for the mahi mahi before we plate it is going to be putting some lemon zest on there with some fresh lemon. So I'm going to be putting some lemon zest just like this on top of uh, that piece and go over to this one and just like that as it smells amazing every time you do lemon zest. I love the smell of lemon. Alrighty, so now that we've got that on our fish, we're going to go ahead and get everything ready to plate. Okay, so the first part of our plate is going to be putting on the green chili cilantro lime rice. So we're just going to be sticking some in the corner of our plate just like that. Get a nice, even, thin layer going around, enough for the mahi-mahi filet to uh, sit on top of just like that, just a little bit more on the side here. Okay, and once we've got that, our next step is going to be grabbing our spatula for the mahi mahi and setting it gently, just like this. Beautifully on top of the rice, just like that. And then, once we've got that, we're going to be getting our sauteed veggies. So we'll go ahead and move that pan on over here. 
And now that we've got that pan on over there, we will take our spatula for the veggies. And we will be putting, <clears throat> putting some veggies right on top of our plate. Let's put a very nice looking green chili right next to the fish filet and putting our veggies right next to that. Alrighty, now that we have everything ready to go and we've cleaned up the plate, we're going to take a nice slice of lemon and place it just like that in the corner of the plate. And we don't want to take up too much space, but it adds a very nice color balance from the green of the uh, green chili to the orange of the carrot and the golden of the fish to add that yellow looks really nice. Hello, Judge. Hello, Chef. What have you prepared for me today? Oh, I'm glad you asked. So today we have a green chili lime cilantro rice. And on top of that rice pilaf is a beautifully cooked mahi-mahi filet that includes cilantro, paprika, and various other spices along with some uh, sauteed carrots, bell peppers, and a green chili on the side with a slice of lemon for you. Sounds quite interesting. I'm ready to get into it. Thank you. Oh, I really like the flakiness of that fish. It's cooked really well. Thank you. That is great. I'm going to try some lemon on there. Get a bite of that rice with it. And the rice is also perfectly cooked. And then those green chilies really give it a pop. Vegetables are nicely done. This is another great dish. Maybe the best one we've had so far. I'm honored to hear that. Thank you, Judge. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Judge. And I really appreciate you judging for season two again, as this is the finale. So thank you again for that. Appreciate you having me back, and I'm ready for more. Absolutely. So uh, I'm very glad that you watched. I hope you all enjoyed uh, today's episode, the season finale of season two of Cooking with Daniel, and I thought it was a great dish. I thought everything went great. Uh, I really appreciate Judge Joe, especially him saying that this is the best meal that we've had uh, so far on Cooking with Daniel, and I'm really looking forward to a potential third season in the future. I think that'd be amazing for all of us, and I want to say thank you for Brady Tidwell up at the grocery store for giving me some really good ideas for today's episode, and I'm very thankful that I was able to film this with everything going on. Hope everybody stays safe out there, and be sure to subscribe below and check back for a future Season 3 when that might be possible. And leave a like if you like this video as well, and check out other seasons. Uh, season 1, and I have the playlist on my YouTube channel. I'll also link it in the top right corner of your screen. See ya.